prepping a trade is simply the act of planning and preparing for your trade before executing the trade. So for example, I've got this chart of Boston Scientific and I've been using this in a lot of these examples because I think it makes for an interesting trade setup. And if I wanted to go plan, uh, place that trade, I really need to plan that trade first. And the reason really is the outcome is unknown. This stock might move up, it might move sideways, it might move down. I honestly think it's gonna keep going up with the trend. That's the reason I'm interested in it. But the outcome is unknown. And so I need to have a trading plan in place to avoid emotions. Because what happens is if I buy and I'm right, I'll be really happy. But if I buy it and I'm wrong and it goes down and I start losing money, I'm going to be really sad and I'm going to feel these emotions. And sometimes I might get all giddy and up here, you know, I'll have little brain cramps, you know, when, when that uh, goes on and I might make a dumb decision and end up giving my profits back. Or when it's get, when I get sad, I might also get scared and I might panic and do something stupid or I might uh, freeze like a deer in the headlights and I could hold that stock while it drops down down and down and I lose all my money and we don't want that so we're gonna place a plan in our you know we're gonna plan our trade and then we're gonna trade that plan so write that down plan the trade trade the plan and prepping the trade goes in and, and help and it's and you know we actually learn how to identify the entry uh, criteria we learn how to identify the exit criteria we learn how to identify our profit targets and we learn how to identify our position sizing and the reward to risk ratios and we plan and and prep our trades you know according to the criteria given to us now again when you look at an options report or a stock report and let me go look at the stock report for this week because that's where i picked this candidate from and when i load up that stock report and i look at the um watch list we provide some of the minimum and uh, you know maximum price criteria, just kind of basic ballparks for you to help you plan and prep those trades. So here's what we had on BSX, for example, and it says, hey, your your entry price really needs to be above 42.71, and I might want a little extra confirmation on that. And so I might look at my chart and decide, you know what, I'm going to be happier buying this trade at uh, 40. 280, you know, giving me greater confirmation. And we say, you know, the stop loss should probably be at least below 4225, a good technical level. And maybe I want to give that a little extra cushion and say, you know what, I think that 42 even would be a good stop loss price for me in my system and my method and approach and according to my position size. And then I might look at those targets and say, you know, I think that target one's really probable. And I think that target two is pretty good. And I think, you know, it might go 45 and maybe even go up to 46, you know, if I get a little lucky. And I need to have a plan in place to lock in those profits at those profit targets, you know, so I can, I can you know, ring the cash register and, and feel good about the trade and just follow the game plan. And so use these watch lists and the entry stop and target criteria minimums kind of maximums to give you a better idea of how to plan and prep your trades according to the step system methods. And you will have much, much, much more confidence when you pull the trigger, when you have a good solid game plan and you use the appropriate order types like bracket orders that will automatically execute the trade according to your game plan. So plan your trades and trade the plan and automate it using the automatic order types available to you through your broker.